says memories are made in a flash, anywhere, anytime. But 150 years ago, you needed a huge camera and your own darkroom to bring these photos to life. That wouldn't fit in your back pocket, but at a pinch you could put it on the back of a horse, as one inventive Kiwi photographer discovered. Most photographs in the 19th century were taken with a what's called a view camera. So that's a very large camera with um, bellows. It's mounted on a tripod, and you've probably seen um, images of photographers having to put a dark cloth over their head to focus it. In those days, you actually had to make the plate on the spot, so you had to sensitise it with chemicals and so on before you took the photograph and then you had to develop it straight away afterwards. So it was a really big hassle at that time to take a photograph. James Bragg's interesting because he made his own portable darkroom in a wagon drawn by a horse. Some photographers at the time had a, a really dark tent which they'd go into if they're out in the field to develop a negative, but um, obviously it was quite convenient and quite a nice idea to have the cart which you travelled around in and had all your supplies to actually be a darkroom as well. Bragg's trademark in his photographs is he often would park his van and of course it has James Bragg, photographer, written on the side of the of the travelling van and you can see that so it's like his little business card usually in a corner of each one of his photographs. Nearly 200 of Bragg's original negatives are now kept at Te Papa in a room that's really cool, literally. Inside this container it's a chilly 13 degrees Celsius and 35% humidity which helps to preserve the glass negatives. If taken out too quickly, there's a risk of damage from moisture and the emulsion could crack and lift off the glass base. That's why they're rested in an insulated bag before being exposed to the warm air outside. This negative was taken probably about 1876, 1877 by James Bragg and he titled it Five Mile Avenue, Forty Mile Bush. The Forty Mile Bush was in round about Manawatu Gorge area showing the, I guess, the march of progress through the bush because that area was very densely forested at that time and you couldn't actually travel overland from Wellington to Napier, for example. Most people who wanted to go to Napier would go by sea. But a road has been pushed through and then followed that was a, a rail line and Bragg photographed the early stages of that, um, that whole process. Today, Bragg's prints and negatives are a valuable record of settlement in the Lower North Island and to think he achieved it all with a dark room hitched to the back of a horse. <laughs>